Next, we need to make two cuts here in the middle for this rafter to sit on our top plate. A vertical heel cut and a horizontal seat cut. That's called a bird's mouth. The heel cut here is exactly parallel to the plumb cut, and we already know how to do that. But where exactly do we place this mark? There are tables that come with some speed squares or that you can find online that will give you this figure based on the rise and run of your particular structure. And if you don't have a table, you can also find this information on most framing squares. This is a bit hard to read, but you'll see here this says common rafter length per foot of run. And remember, the pitch on our roof is five. So if we follow this line over to the five inch mark, we discover that length is 13 inches, and that's per foot. So for a 24 inch run, you would double that figure, giving you a common rafter length of 26 inches.